trying to distinguish between the ideas of may and ought. Mm. Ought I to do this or may I do this? And, mm. I, and I think that's probably an important thing. And, and to a certain extent, it, it comes from the calling of the Spirit in our own selves. And so, I mean, if you're if you're in a place or in a church where you haven't experienced this and you don't have the opportunity to experience it, well, it's going to be kind of a lot, a lot harder for you to be called to something like that. But if you have the opportunity for this expression in your community and the opportunity is is, is readily available for you, then the the... the you know, the, the, taking that opportunity to go and be a part of it, not to try it in the sense of the way you would a car or something like that. I don't know if I like the feel of this or whatever, but but to go and see a, a clear and a genuine expression of the Holy Spirit in, in the life and the working of the church, I, I think it it becomes somewhat of an ought. It, it's, it becomes something that this, this ought to be something that you should at least look at and experience. Oftentimes we, we want to stay in our own comfort zone and we want to stay in the thing that makes us feel nice and safe and secure. And so this is usually for someone who hasn't experienced this or seen it, this is a huge step for someone to go and, uh, and, and take this because it's way out of their comfort zone, especially if they have a personality where they're not that expressive with, with you know, the way they speak or the way they act. And so, um, I, you know, I, I think going and experiencing something like this can be, um, again, very shocking, but, but the beauty of it. And, and once you give into it and allow yourself to, to be a part of it, you begin to at least see the beauty of it, even if you don't want to be a part of it.